In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The ability to ask for something properly is a learned skill. No child comes out of the womb completely polite. Mother dear, if it's not too much trouble, may I please have a cookie? I will gladly accept whatever answer you give. If that happened, you would probably stop and ask your child, Who are you, and what did you do with my child? Now, not to pick on kids, because adults often have the same problem, but very often kids' requests sound more like demands that sometimes have a please tacked on the end. To ask properly and politely is a learned skill. And the same is true when it comes to our prayers to God. While in the very moment of our baptisms, we are granted the privilege to pray to our dear Father in heaven as his dear children, because that is who we are in that very moment. Throughout our lives, we have a lot of growing to do, so that more and more we are offering pleasing prayers to God. Of course, the biggest thing that gets in the way of pleasing prayer is our sinful nature, and in one way in particular that our sinful nature rears its ugly head is in a way that oftentimes isn't very noticeable. It isn't very noticeable because it's in what we pray for. This Sunday, we're going to be reminded that focused prayer claims what God wants for us, not what we want from him. Like the demanding requests of young children, sometimes we think and act as though our prayers are just the product of impulses of the moment. We want, so we ask. We hurt, so we cry out. We are confused or frustrated, so we vent. We recognize our blessings, so we give thanks. Well, we can certainly ask God for anything we want, of course, as long as it is in agreement with God's word, if it's God's pleasing. It is important for us to understand that God's desire for our prayer life is that we pray bending our will to God's will rather than trying to use prayer as some mechanism to bend God's will to our own will. That means, first and foremost, God wants us to pray for those things he wants to give us as he has revealed that will to us in his holy word. Now, as we listen to our second reading for Sunday from Paul's letter to young Pastor Timothy, his first letter, I want you to see if you can catch what Paul says is pleasing prayer. He writes, I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. This is good and pleases God our Savior, who wants all people to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom for all people. This has now been witnessed to at the proper time. Did you catch where pleasing prayer starts? It doesn't start with you. It starts with praying for other people. In fact, Paul says it's praying for all other people. And notice how Paul emphasized our secular rulers and authorities. I don't know about you, but that is a reminder I need almost daily. And no matter where you fall on the political spectrum, our authorities need our prayers every single day. And notice then the blessing God intends to give through his answer to these prayers. He says that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. And finally, Notice what Paul says our prayer lives are to be centered on and dominated by God's plan of salvation. There really is nothing more important, nothing more worthwhile, nothing more pleasing to God than to pray that God would carry out his rescue plan for us individually and for all people. Nothing matters more than this. There's nothing wrong, of course, with praying for and about earthly desires, your health, your frustrations, and so on. But none of those things matter eternally for you, or for anybody else for that matter. Above all else, pray pleasing prayers that claim God's saving desire as your own, and that his kingdom would come to all others as well. Amen.